Hey guys, Jonah here. Happy, happy Valentine's Day to you. And uh, yeah, there's nothing that says Valentine's apart from beer. Um, we're doing another one from the Manchester box. And if you haven't seen the last four, well, this is the fourth one. So the last three beer reviews, they're all from Fierce Beer. And the reason why you haven't is because you haven't subscribed, have you? So why don't you get on the case, subscribe to the beer channel, and then you'll see what's happening. Um, and while you're there, while you're downstairs, um, why don't you click like as well? We are doing, uh, no, that was yesterday's one. You can see that everything is, works really well. Oh no, that is today's one. What am I doing? This one is Thomas St. Hef. So last time it was Thomas St. Dunkel, but this one is a Hef Bison. Um, gain 5%, proper multi bad boy. It's a German style wheat beer. Uh, and this is where you get the banana clove. It says in brioche, brioche buns, all that kind of stuff. We got some Cara, we got Munich, we got Vienna malt. And we got wheat as well, which is cool. And the whole reason, if you haven't watched those uh, previous reviews, what are you doing? The whole reason uh, Manchester is teaming up with Fierce, apart from there being some deal, obviously with um, Beer 52. And there's the, uh, there's the slightly out of focus Fierce beer. Uh, Thomas St. Hef. This is another one of those street kind of scenes. I think it's exactly the same, isn't it? Um, but anyway, this is advertising their new uh, bar, uh, brewery bar, which is in Manchester. So you can get Scottish Aberdeen beers, German style ones at that, which is still bizarre to me, but you can get them in Manchester now. So that is the link uh so let's have a look there we go uh artwork by grace sharp that's what i said last night because it's the same piece of art i believe uh fierce beer brewed in scotland etc etc oh i was almost said there aren't any pregnant ladies but there is one my finger was hiding the pregnant lady so as usual whatever you do do not go near a pregnant lady if you are drinking this beer I'm warning you, it's a good one. And if you haven't done already, why don't you subscribe to the channel? I've said that before, haven't I? Oh, it's all going a bit pear shaped today. I was back in the office, hence wearing a shirt as opposed to the same t shirt that I've had on the weekend. Anyway, um, we have my lovely tasting glass, and in it goes where we stop nobody knows wow nice and hazy that one is a bit more amber than i thought we definitely got well over a finger's creamy white head but i better get my uh my shot in i'll just slightly move the angle of my uh my thing there we go we'll put something like that on the front of the video eh Smells lovely. Right, let us see. So that head has kind of dissipated a bit. It is now under a finger, but the bubble is lovely, lovely. Small bubbles, but definitely carbon bubbles, not nitro bubbles. Hmm, interesting, a bit spicy. And there is that clove thing going on from the yeast, which is kind of one of those things that you expect from a, a kind of bison or a vit beer or a white beer, which basically doesn't describe a colour. It describes that it's hazy, hazy as a mofo. He says stroking the glass in a subjective kind of suggestive way 
this is my first. I haven't had any beers and I'm stumbling and messing up my words. That I will put down to the brain damage that I've received from uh, so many years drinking beer. <laughs> Guys, cheers and beers. Mmm, spicy, bit fiery. There is banana and clove in there. The brioche, no idea what the hell they're talking about with that. Maybe it's because it's a bit malty too, but it's not that malty. Mm. There's also a bit of a lemony thing going on. I'm not sure what the thing with the lemony taste is, uh, but a few fierce beers have this lemony tint going down, which I think might well be an off flavour that they've somehow introduced to their beers and is in their brewery. But I've had it on, I think, at least three beers now. Look, we've got a nice, nice tide line. Let's see if we can get another one. Oh, that's a fat line. Look at that selfish line on there, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ridiculous. Have you been playing Harry Potter? I've been watching some streams. Pretty cool, especially when you're drinking beers. Uh, look at that Harry Potter legacy stuff. Mm. Tell me what you think down below. Leave me a comment. Have you or have you not? been interested at all in this Harry Potter legacy stuff. Um, I have to say, for a style that should be really smooth and kind of subtle and tasty there is not much taste and not much flavor to this um it's a little bit watery for my liking um not smooth enough not creamy enough and there's that weird lemon thing going on which i don't know where i don't know what that is it's very strange we are down to the last sip. It's not a bad beer, don't get me wrong. This is a nice beer. But it is not a great beer, dear viewer. Um, but yeah, if you're in Manchester um, and you're going to the new Fierce Bar, why not try the whole range? Try the ones that they're making specifically for the opening. I've no idea, because it doesn't say what the, um, what the link to Germany is. I don't get it, but cheers and beers. Yeah, that lemony thing is going on at the end there as well, which. Yeah, it's just distracting what should be a really super smooth uh, beer. It's just an odd an odd kind of taste to have in there. But there's a little bit of banana and a little bit of clove too. The clove is probably more there than the banana, which is, I like it the other way around uh, with my vice beers or wit beers or whatever. Um, I much prefer the banana to the uh, clove. Um, so if I was scoring this, I reckon maybe a three, Three and a quarter out of five. Ooh, something along those lines. Dear viewer, thank you for joining me on this Valentine's Day. It was always going to be a quick one because believe it or not, I'm doing something for Valentine's Day. So, uh, yeah, if I can drink beer and still celebrate St. Valentine's, then so can you. And I'll be back tomorrow with another beer review. Guys, take care.